So why don't you share, Tiff, the uh, the crazy story that happened to you with the lady in our driveway a couple uh, days ago. Yeah. So so this is, okay. If anybody wants to kidnap Tiffany, this is the way to do it. This is the way to kidnap me. So Ryan and I, okay, Ryan and I never drive together to drive Paisley. This is the first time. Ever, yeah. So Paisley jumped in the car. I went to take her to school. And then I'm like, oh, you didn't get to say goodbye to dad. So we found him on his walk and he jumped in. So we drove Paisley to school. We came back. As soon as I pulled in my driveway, this car like pulls up super fast. And this lady jumps out of the car and she's like screaming, crying. Hysterical. Hysterical. My, my baby, you're a mom. You have kids. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what's the matter? And she's like, my kid, he's he had his shot, his vaccine the other day and his leg is swollen and he's limping and I don't know what to do and I don't know where to go and I know that you have kids. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Ryan, get my purse. <laughs> and then I was like, I open her car door. I'm like, I'm coming in. <laughs> and then I'm like, can I pray for your kid first? <laughs> She's like, go ahead. So I quickly lay hands on her baby. He's like, I think three years. He just turned three, you know, prayed that Jesus would protect him. And then I jumped in her car and I was like, Ryan comes back. He says, I can't find your purse, but here's money. <laughs> and he throws me a lot of cash. <laughs> and so I said, let's go. And I took her. She didn't know where to go. She, you know, her. Yeah, so she was freaking out because she didn't know where the hospital was. Well, she heard that Brandon Hospital wasn't the best spot. So she's like, where do you take your kid? So I'm like, I take him to this spot. Anytime anything happens, because, you know, as long as he's breathing okay, and as long as he's, it's not a dire emergency, they will evaluate him really fast and then decide if you should, you know, go to a emergency pediatrician or whatever so long story short i jump in her car and i'm like just drive <laughs> and i i'd never met her before or anything and she's like i'm so thankful <laughs> she's crying and she's freaking out so we drive to the place we get her son checked out turns out he's you know he's okay just needs to go on some steroids and stuff like that but you know all the way ryan's like are you okay <laughs> texting me i'm like yeah i'm good you know i'll be back in about an hour or so so anyway super Super crazy. Was that Monday morning? I think it was no. Friday. Oh, it was Friday morning. So super crazy. I was very happy that I was able to just jump in and help. But that's what, you know, being a sheepdog is all about, right? Just being able to help people when they need help, being that kind of calm, voice of reason, stuff like that. She you know? was freaking out. Be so Like, it was unbelievable okay. how hysterical she was. So at first I was like, maybe she's just overreacting, right? But then when we got to the um, urgent care and I saw his leg, like the normal leg is like this, it was like swollen. His Instead of his kneecap being like this, his kneecap was like this, like huge. And he was limping and stuff like that. So, I mean, every right to be a little freaked out just over a regular. This wasn't the COVID vaccine. This is just like a regular, you know, your uh, yeah, flu shot. No, it wasn't even a flu shop. It was like your lock jaw and your tetanus and all the regular things that the kids have to get. Do people get to to lock jaw shots? Is yeah. that a thing? Yeah, you got to have it every 10 years.